Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. He didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? The Council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. A missing infiltration team's not my problem. Clean up your own mess. That unit may have sacrificed their lives to get this message out. Saren is up to something on Vermeer. You'd see that if it weren't for your stubborn human pride. I will find Saren, but I'm doing it my way. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. How come every time there's a problem you end up running to me? You're a Spectre, Shepard. And this isn't some run-of-the-mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Synthetic intelligence is a dangerous technology, Admiral. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectres answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you. 
Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you... are you real? Oh, no. Don't be stupid, Liara. Humans do not come here. You're hallucinating. And talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, goddess. I am going to die here. We're here to save your sorry ass. So snap out of it. You're rude for a hallucination. My subconscious must want to punish me for being this stupid. Doesn't matter what you think. I'm getting you out of there. You almost had me convinced there. I would not expect a hallucination to be defiant. Well, I'll play along. As you can see, I am trapped here. If you're as real as you claim, find a way to get me out. There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I know how it works. I've studied it. Oh, calm down, Lyra. You're yelling at a figment of your imagination. Listen, if you're real, find some way past the barrier curtain. Find some way to deal with the Geth. Then use the control panel to release me. If you're not real, leave me alone. I'm tired of talking to myself. Now I am hallucinating that you are inside the tower. I must be getting worse. Earlier I even imagined I heard thunder. We used the mining laser to bore through. You bored through? <gasps> you're real, aren't you? By the goddess, you're real! Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a hallucination. I thought I was going mad. Please, get me out of here, before more Geth show up. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least, I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Not much margin for error. deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. 
It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. It's just a bunch of random images. Even after I got the cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo-jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked, though. She said it would help me understand my visions. But they still don't make sense. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Looks like I don't have a choice. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I, I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. Find the missing portion and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, 
I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Don't bother. Aye, aye, sir.